Welcome to Toggle Track, the world's best time tracker. Our singular focus is to save you time. We're going to take you through some of the main ways you can use Toggle Track to make your workday easier. First off, you can find the Toggle Track web app at track.toggle.com slash timer. Toggle Track is available as a mobile app for iOS and Android, or you can download the Toggle Track desktop app for Mac OS or Windows to track your time. Users say they appreciate the desktop app when they want to focus on something without distractions. For now, let's concentrate on the web app. What you see here is known as your workspace. That's basically where you will spend the majority of your time in Toggle Track. Let's go over creating a time entry. On the top where it says, what are you working on? You can write whatever description you want here. It's meant to be easy and flexible because we know that you often need these descriptions to be highly specific. You can organize your entries by project, by client, and add tags. We'll go over each of those in a moment. To start your timer, you have two options. The default is the timer mode for real-time tracking. You can start tracking immediately by clicking on the play button. You're free to fill in the details at that point or later if you just want to get started with your work. You can also start tracking by continuing a previous time entry in your list. Alternatively, you can do manual mode, which is those three lines below the clock icon. Manual mode allows you to select the date and approximate hours of a block of work. Just click on the date and time and a calendar will pop up. Manually write in the details of your work. You can do this for past work or future work if you already know how long something will take you and you want to get it logged. Directly from the timer page, you can also go into calendar view. This view shows your time entries on a week-by-week -week basis in a color-coded grid format. Here you can duplicate time entries or fill in missing blocks easily and quickly. It's also a handy way to see which projects are dominating your week. The text that you see in the field, the description where it says example description, is the time entry description. Moving to the right, you can see the project, example project, the client is example client. To organize something into a specific project, you'll click on the folder icon. You can choose from an already existing list or create a new project. You'll enter the project's name and enter the client. If it's a new client, you can add a new one. When you create a new project or client, they'll be saved into your workspace so that you can reuse the same project or client names for future time entries. Within a project, tasks can be created in projects to help categorize time usage. Tasks are a startup plan feature. They provide an extra level of hierarchy within projects. In other words, think of them as sub-projects. Similar to projects, they can be allocated to a specific team member. Open the project under which you want to create tasks and click on the Task tab. Click Add Task to create new tasks and then click on Save to confirm. To hide completed tasks from the project list on your timer page, you can mark a task as done. Entries recorded under your done task will still be available in reports. A task can be reactivated by marking it active again. If you're on a starter or a premium plan, you can also assign a billable label to your time. This will help you calculate your billable hours each month, which is a super handy feature when invoicing time rolls around. It's also useful if you're considering whether or not a project was profitable and worth your time. Assign billable rates by workspace, team member, project, or project member to clearly see what activities are generating revenue. Let's discuss creating a report. Click on the Reports section in your menu. You'll have the option to filter your report by team, client, project, task, tag, description, or show only your billable hours. You can also choose a specific time period on the calendar, which will bring up all of your hours tracked during that period. If you'd like to round your time entries to the nearest increment, you can do that with starter or premium plans. Simply drop your report, click on the rounding button. When the clock icon is green, rounding is on. When it's gray, it means you've turned off rounding. Time entries can be rounded up, down, or to the nearest value. You can export these reports into a PDF or a CSV by pressing the down arrow icon in the top right corner. These reports are a great way to give your client a bird's eye view of your hours for a certain time period or project. You may be time tracking just for yourself, or you might want to track time for your whole team. Click on the Organization section of the menu to view a list of all members of your workspace. You can assign basic, project manager, or workspace administrator permissions for each user. When you sign up for a Toggle Track account, a workspace for your account is created as well by default. Initially, you'll be the only workspace member. 
To invite more users into your workspace, click Invite Members on the top right. That will trigger a pop-up to show, allowing you to invite new users by submitting their email addresses. You can invite one person or many. You can also deactivate a user. Their data will stay in your workspace, but you won't be billed for them. You can also categorize your team members into user groups. When you assign team members to user groups, it gives the same project permissions to everyone at once. Simply go to the Groups tab on the organization page and click Add Group. Add users from available active and invited users who haven't accepted the invitation yet. Lastly, let's discuss integrations. Toggle Track's browser extension for Chrome and Firefox integrates with over 100 other apps like Asana, GitHub, Jira, Trello, Basecamp, Todoist, Evernote, and more. You can use it as it's running on your browser's extension menu or directly within another app. To enable this feature, go to your settings page for the Toggle Track extension and allow permissions for specific apps that you use. Let's use Todoist as an example. The Toggle Track timer will now appear in the user interface of the app. You can start the timer directly and Toggle Track will add appointment information to your time log along with your tracked hours, minutes, and seconds. That highlights some of the top-level ways you can use Toggle Track for time tracking. For a deeper dive, check out our website or feel free to get in touch with us at support at track.toggle.com.